In this video we are diving into 5 ways to reset your 3D printed buttons that could be helpful for your next design. The first one is, obviously, the spring. It's the most well known option and for good reason. Springs are super reliable, easy to use and incredibly cheap. Whether you're designing something simple or more complex, a spring usually gets the job done. They are available in almost every size and strength you could need. Next up we have rubber bands. Now these might not be as strong or durable as springs and they can wear down over time. But the beauty of rubber bands is that almost everyone has them lying around at home. Plus they are perfect for designs where a spring just wouldn't fit. For example, I used rubber bands in my magnet insertion tool because nothing else worked in such a tight space. They also allow for a larger range of motion. The third method is magnets. Magnets are both reliable and super flexible in terms of placement. You can put them under the button, above it or even both. They also give a unique feeling compared to springs or rubber bands. Instead of a gradual push, magnets provide more of a snappy, instant feedback, which feels very much like a real button. The downside is, the range is limited. But they also don't require much space, which is why I used them in my camera puzzle box. They are also available in different sizes and strengths. Moving on we have 3D printed springs. These mimic traditional springs in many ways, but with a few key differences. While they wear out faster, they're incredibly versatile. You can customize everything. From the resistance by just increasing their thickness, to the shape and function. As you can see here, this design takes up almost no space at all. The biggest advantage is that you don't need any non-3D printed parts. If you want a fully 3D printed solution, this one is for you. And finally, we have something a little different. A gravity powered button. I haven't seen anyone use this method, but it's a fun concept that might inspire you. Here is how it works. There is a counterweight below the button that pushes it back up. It's totally over-engineered for a button, but it has some unique perks. The resistance stays consistent, no matter how far you push, and you can easily adjust the resistance by adding or removing weight. But it only works in its designed orientation. Tilt it too much and it stops working. Still, it could be great for creative projects like a puzzle box or weight-activated pressure plates. Each method has its pros and cons, and the best one depends on your specific project. Whether you are going for reliability, customization, or just experimenting with unique ideas, there's something here for everyone.